El Paso is an up and coming destination for those looking to relocate to or within Texas. Home to nearly three quarters of a million people, El Paso is known for hot weather, sunny skies, sprawling views, and some delicious food. But not every city is perfect for every renter or homeowner. We're here to help you determine if El Paso could be your next home on the range. Home on the range. There are pros and cons to every location. And in this video, we will highlight both. And we'll leave you with a better sense of what El Paso offers and what it doesn't. Without further ado, let's get started. There are 11 things to know before moving to El Paso. It's a border city located in the westernmost corner of Texas. El Paso is situated along the Mexican border and the Rio Grande. El Paso's Mexican influence can be seen throughout the city. From local restaurants serving up traditional dishes to vibrant markets filled with the Mexican handicrafts, this border city offers residents an opportunity to share the rich cultural experience with its closest neighbors. And with this proximity to Juarez just across the Rio Grande River, residents can easily explore what Mexico has to offer without having to go too far from home. All the food. El Paso is prime real estate when it comes to cuisine. Tex-Mex in particular is a favorite among the locals and visitors. Border style tacos, enchiladas, tamales, and more are staples regularly found at restaurants, street vendors, catering companies, and home kitchens. Newer restaurants are putting their own spin on Tex-Mex, so your palate will always have something new to savor. International cuisine is still available, so there's plenty of variety. Italian Mediterranean, classic diners, and more are plentiful. And the food options will satisfy anyone's taste buds. And of course, you know it's Texas, so we got barbecue. Make sure you try Desert Oaks. Job opportunities are as endless as the horizon. El Paso is an excellent place for job seekers. The economy is booming, and those on the hunt will find positions available for everything from entry-level jobs to jobs suited for recent college graduates and experienced professionals. The city has a diverse workspace spanning multiple industries, including healthcare, technology, defense government, hospitality, business, education, and more. Additionally, more than 70 Fortune 500 companies call El Paso home with headquartered operations or additional offices, making El Paso an excellent provider of jobs. Big city living with an affordable price tag. Of course, one of the prime non-negotiables for a location is its affordability for prospective buyers. El Paso beats the national average for cost of living by about $10,000 a year, and the average for the rest of the state by nearly $5,000. This figure also includes necessities like groceries, healthcare, utilities, transportation, and just about every category that is tracked. Forbes Magazine has even recognized this growing city as one of the 13 featured cities where residents can live comfortably on less than $60,000 a year. Enjoy the sun almost year round. Vitamin D is critical and the best way for humans to achieve the needed levels is by enjoying the sunlight. And while seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, a seasonal depression doesn't affect everyone, it is a very real consideration for many. El Paso has your back. On average, the sun shines in this city more than 300 days a year, earning the nickname of the Sun City. That equates to about 3,763 hours of daylight each year. Compare that to just about 2,100 hours in the location like Seattle. It is an easy choice for anyone who is prioritizing sunlight. The warmest month is typically June and it can get quite warm. El Paso sees more than 100 days with temperatures over 90 degrees and another 20 days of over 100 degrees each year. So if you're moving from somewhere with mild summers, be prepared for the heat and an increased utility bill due to air conditioning. When it does rain, make sure you prepare. With all the sun and the heat this quarter of Texas experiences, it's essential to be aware of the flip side of the coin, flooding. The soil here is dry and compact, that it can't take a lot of rainfall. 
So these flash floods can occur when it does rain for any extended period. The city has made several improvements to its infrastructure and stormwater system, but monsoon season can still bring overwhelming moisture. This was evident in 2006 and 2021, when flooding collapsed walls swept hitchhikers off their feet, destroyed 18 reelers and more. Awareness and basic safety principles with all members of your family help mitigate the risk, just like those who live in earthquake country areas prone to wildfire or intense winters. It's not just the open range. Those unfamiliar with Texas may have a mental image of the wide open range. And while that's certainly an aspect of the landscape, it is not all there is to see. Less than an hour away from El Paso lies Aguita Springs, which has year round streams, shady hiking trails, and camping and picnic sites. Franklin Mountain State Park provides tens of thousands of acres with trails, climbing opportunities, wildlife viewing, and elevated views of the surrounding area. Waco Tank State Park and historic site offers lower mountains to the east of the Franklin Mountains and has ancient rock art drawn by the area's indigenous people. And one of the most Texas ways to enjoy the outdoors is on horseback. Trail rides originating in El Paso are the perfect way to experience all the region has to offer. And the summer horse camps are a common way for children to spend their time off from school. El Paso is one of the safest cities. El Paso is consistently ranked as one of the safest, largest cities in the United States. Low crime numbers and highly ranked schools result in a peaceful experience and less time spent worrying about the what ifs that plague many cities. It comes a long way from its dark history. Once El Paso was known as the original Sin City and the sixth shooter capital of the United States. Back in the 1800s, El Paso was synonymous with lawlessness, but this period in history is now just a distant memory. Spanish is the default language in many parts of the town. In 2022, census results revealed that El Paso is the most bilingual city in America. And even if it doesn't retain the top spot in subsequent years, as it's closely followed by Los Angeles and San Jose, California, it will remain a city heavily influenced by the Spanish language. The ability to speak more than one language comes in handy even in the United States. And if you don't have any Spanish in your toolkit, you might find yourself at a disadvantage. In El Paso, nearly 40% of the residents are bilingual, and of that, many know English as their second language. The majority of the population is Hispanic and has been since 1965. As of 2022, more than 80% of the residents identify as Hispanic or Latino. Even the local FBI field office has a second Twitter handle designated for the communicating in Spanish so that all residents are provided with critical information. Sand and dust storms, arguably more unpleasant than flooding due to its relative regularity, blowing dust and sand are often reported as a downside to calling El Paso home. These storms cause poor visibility, which makes driving more dangerous. They irritate the eyes, mouth, nose, lungs, and even the skin. Particularly for children, the elderly, and those with pre-existing conditions like asthma. Increase in hospitalizations tend to occur after prolonged dust storms, particularly for those who suffer from chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, asthma, mental health disease, and even pregnant women. Aside from the sand or dust, powerful winds can make walking outside cumbersome and trees and power lines or other structures may fall during these powerful storms. El Paso embraces culture, art, and family-friendly fun. We want to leave you on a positive note because overall, for most residents who call El Paso home, the pros far outweigh the cons. El Paso is a great place to raise a family and enjoy the local scene. The El Paso Zoo is always popular with kids and adults alike and has non-animal attractions like Cooper Canyon Challenge Ropes Course. Enjoy activities like escape rooms, goat cart, racetracks, and batting cages and even a foam factory. The city also celebrates its history, Hispanic population, and Latin culture with plenty of galleries, exhibits, and historic centers that welcome curious minds and art lovers. 
Life Theater, Broadway Productions, Comedy Acts, and Dinner Theaters can all be found in El Paso. You don't have to call one of the coastal cities like New York or San Francisco home in order to enjoy talented performing arts, so you get the best of both worlds in El Paso. That does it for our deep dive on El Paso. We know purchasing a home is one of the biggest and often scariest decisions in someone's life and shouldn't be taken lightly. If this video helped you form an opinion on El Paso, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more content like this, city specific specials, cost of living, deep dives, and more, please consider subscribing to the channel. Ringing the bell will enable notifications so you're always the first to see our latest videos. Let us know down below if you're a resident and we missed one of the best parts of the city. What city should we feature next? Sound off in the comments. And until next time guys, wishing you the best in your house hunting experience. Hey guys, if you liked this video, maybe check out this one or this one. <laughs>